Hello all, here I am for a living figuratively at the beautiful Columbus Metropolitan Branch of the library for the, um, the libraries at 96 South Grant Street in downtown Columbus um, for the Ohio Artist Registry 2023 juried exhibition where I am thrilled to be showing with a very small cast of stellar artists. I'm gonna take you on a walk through. I'm gonna to have to be a little bit quiet because it is a library, but here I am. I'm gonna give it a start. All right, just gonna take a quick walk through. I'm not gonna to do too much in the commentary, but look at how beautiful this library is. These works are, this is like a permanent exhibition right here. Um, but just to give you an idea of how gorgeous this library is, it's one of those iconic ones with stained glass ceilings. And look at all the different stained glass ceilings they have and the marble columns. And it really is an honor to show in a library this amazing and a venue this amazing. I predict that libraries will become art places as time goes by. So here are a couple pieces from the, um, from the show. This is one of the only other figurative works in the show, Kindle Pot's Hope, or figurative paintings in the show. All right, we're gonna cross over here. Beautiful, beautiful library. Gorgeous walking. And I'm going to take you on a quiet walk through because somebody is having an interview here. Here's one by Tony Williams. You've seen his work at the Artist Archives. He uses a lot of the indigo and fabric. Here's a couple, here's another one. Don't wanna miss this one. One of the other figurative works in the show, Gregory de Groot. This one is Harlem Story, 1948. Other gallery, Marianne Donovan. Most of the work in this show is actually photography, which is really kind of interesting. So I'm, I feel very honored to be one of the very few um, realistic, figurative, or oil paintings. In fact, maybe, well, one of the very few. Um, right here, this one's cool. Zach Van Horn. A place best by a thousand times. And this one is a beauty by Gina Wolfram. Oil painting. And then we've got this three dimensional modern apothecary. All about finding joy amid COVID, which I think we all had to do. This is this one's really cool. It's a scratch board, The Garden by Janet Marsano. 
So like this is scratch board, but then it breaks out of the frame, out of the mat with several layers. Diane Bell, Bell Figlio. And then this one is a photograph by Stuart Pearl, who is the president of the Artist Archives of the Western Reserve. And if you've ever seen photographs of shows at the Artist Archives, well, he took them. This is a, a really cool photograph right here at the table, 98. Got a gorgeous abstract here by Judith Ford. And over here we have the bright and colorful glowing corner. I see mine at the end, which I really like, but I'm gonna pan over here. Coneflowers and zinnias photography. Terra firma, this is a digital mixed media painting print. This one is a glowing collage. I love the orange and the glow. And then we have this, I thought it was a painting. It's a photograph that looks so good, it looks like it could be a painting, but it's photography. It's quite amazing. And then we're gonna finish it up with my piece in the show called One. Now I was just notified the other day that my piece won a Juror's Choice Award, which there were three Juror's Choice Awards and those were the only awards that they gave. They didn't have a first place, second place, best in show or anything. So I was totally thrilled that I won one of these three top awards, but I don't see the, you know, the big ribbon or whatever on it yet. Um, and I don't see it on any of the other ones. So I can't tell you which ones won, which ones I share this honor with. But this painting right here called One is all about mother and child. It's all about um, that all mothers are Madonnas and deserve halos and that kind of a thing. And the, uh, the inspiration for it was um, mother and child that I met at the grocery store and I had to approach them because they looked so beautiful together. And I call it One because they really were just had this amazing relationship with each other where it really felt like they were one. So, um, and as far as the both of their shaved heads, I never found out the story. I don't know who shaved their head in solidarity with, in solidarity with who or what the story was. Um, but I did see them several months later and they both had hair and they both seemed very healthy. So that was a good thing. All right, I'm gonna flip around and finish. All right, thank you for joining me for Living Figuratively for this quick little quick little visit to the uh, library, to the uh, Columbus Downtown Metropolitan Library um, at South Grant Street, 96 South Grant Street. Please come see this show. It's gonna be here only through March 25th and there is a closing reception on March 25th where I will be there because they offer the fun thing where you get to take your work home so I don't have to drive down to Columbus twice. Um, anyway, I will see you there. Come see the show and I'll see you next time for Living Figuratively.